Hey YouTube, this is Just Call Me Mrs. M. This is a brief update on the Fed Hell Chronicles. This is Fed Hell Chronicles, Jedi Mind Tricks. Okay, let me give you a short brief because I'm not going to really go deep, deep into it, being that my other half is still at that company. But apparently, he went to this meeting. I don't know if I said it in my other videos. He went to the meeting, and they basically said they had um, videotape of my former manager. Not supposedly, she didn't say what you know my husband's quote quote claim she said about not signing him in, whatever like that. So yesterday, he just went back yesterday because he was sick. He had a bronchitis attack, and. Um, apparently they were supposed to terminate him after that meeting he just found out yesterday they were supposed to terminate him over some bogus shit well hold up I'm going to briefly show y'all the letter because when I get a scanner y'all going to take a good look at this letter hold on for this okay now this is some bullshit this is some bullshit, okay? Apparently, hmm, on April 1st, 2012, you made allegations against a manager which resulted in an investigation. Upon completion of our investigation, it was determined that your conduct was in violation of the acceptable conduct policy telling us on his behavior okay his behavior but this is the same manager my ex-manager that claimed that my husband threatened another employee without no proof this is the same manager that had fired of employees claiming they've been sleeping in the cafeteria and they haven't and they claim they got the tape tapes that they never saw and now they're doing the Jedi mind trick on my husband saying we both video editors y'all see my videos I know how to manipulate videos they claim oh we saw the tape 15 times and we didn't hear it's easy with the right software it's easy for somebody to take the the voice track, the, the voice, cut that part, cut that part when she was talking to security, and drag it in with the right software. Come on now. You talk to the expert video editors, and my husband was in it a long way before me. <laughs> okay. See, they think somebody's stupid at that hell. But apparently this is a letter one thing about the hell if you get three letters in a year they will fire you this letter prevents him to go to any um move into any position which they hold him down on that anyway he applied for a position they don't they don't contact him back or give him no more no feedback or nothing this is a letter. This is bullshit. That gotta stay in his file. A warning letter. That gotta stay in his file. A warning letter. For behavior? This is the same woman that yelled at me because she was pissed because I was leaving her belt and then bring my husband in it. She wasn't even in the room. If y'all gonna treat us like separate individuals as employees, why would you bring my husband in the mix of the argument? Hmm, that sounds very suspicious. Then she fucking lied in my face to another manager in my face discussing my letter in my face to another manager. I guess they don't have proof for that either. Um, she she said me, both me and my husband created a hostile environment. I guess they don't have proof for that either. Um, is she going to get a letter? Um, she claimed that. I said, why we created the house out on writing it again? 
or we, was we going around bullying people? Like, we was being bullied? No. Um, he comes on the belt every day and help you out. And help me out. He helps out other employees, what you talking about? And he does you, he unload your knock-ons. What are you talking about? You need to be looking at your employees that don't want to help me out. That sit there and let me work two or three stations at a time and don't help me. You don't say nothing about that. But if she get a warning to let her know, and yes, she did say it. You did say it. Yes, you did. You did say it. I guess you didn't say a whole lot of stuff. You slander both me and my husband, but yet my husband get a warning letter because you wouldn't sign him in, and you know you said what you said. And she's still walking around rolling her eyes at my husband. I guess there's no proof of that either. I guess that's not on film either, though. But let him roll his eyes at her, then he, uh, well, he'll get a warning letter for behavior violation yeah I said it but anyway and the manager he had a meeting with live I'm gonna get to that later later down the line depending on how things go I'm telling you and I will say this on YouTube if they fire you over some bullshit, I'm going to unleash some shit on YouTube. They thought that package going thrown over the monitor was bad. I'm going to tell some secrets and unleash some shit on the YouTube <laughs> that they going to want me to unleash. I know a lot of motherfucking stuff that I've been sitting on quiet on. And there are other people that's coming out against this company, too. I'm going to unleash some shit. I'm telling you, if they would have terminated him last week, this would have been a whole different video. But because his man, his manager is actually cool, he spoke up for him. Then he was trying to nitpick and get him on the time card because he was late. They, um, they marked him in... He wasn't late. He was actually on time. She just refused to sign him in. Another manager had to sign him in. He was actually on. He was a half hour on time. But by the time he got in and was signed in, he was like a half hour late. S something like that. So what they did was they, they, put, they put, marked him as him being on time. They tried to get him on that saying that he, um, he falsified his sound card. So his manager spoke up about that. So now they trying to say, basically this letter is saying he's falsely accused my ex-manager of saying something she didn't say. And he have not yet to this date. It's what, the 24th of April 2012? Have not yet to this date seen the video. Mm -hmm. At the meeting, he said he was going to show give the video to his manager and he was going you know his manager was going to show him the video show him what he saw 15 times his manager ain't seen nothing yet and he had this meeting since last monday so during this time they were stalling trying to get rid of him and his manager had to step in it was like he he's a great employee he don't have no behavioral problems, this and that, and they gave him a fucking letter. Now you got the fucking top director in it, along with the senior manager and human resources, because his behavior. But yet, this bitch is going around rolling her eyes at people, getting smart with people, yelling at people, and lying on people, and falsely terminating folks. I got 10 people, there's 10 people on day, 10 people on day that I know of. Five of them I communicated with that got terminated falsely by this same woman. Some of them 
haven't even worked together. They work later on behind each other. And told the same story on how they got terminated because of her lies and her falsifying little paperwork. Getting other managers to lie for her. This is the shit that's going on at Fat Hell. And I'm going to tell you, they better be on their best behavior because I'm... <laughs> I'm the only reason why I'm not doing I'm not saying nothing right now is because of my husband. He said chill. <laughs> Y'all just don't know. Then you got other employees don't just don't don't talk too much and it's not on Facebook. I don't give a shit. It's not happening to you. It's easy for you to say that. Cause it's not happening to you. Let your loved one come on an attack. Over some bullshit at Fat Hill, over a couple of angry ass managers and employees. That's all I gotta say on that note for right now. And I'm out. I should burn this damn letter. I should burn it because it's bullshit.